Hi you guys, today I'm going to be reviewing the Beauty Blender for you. And the Beauty Blender is this really iconic makeup sponge that looks like this. And I think the reason it's so popular is because it is really cute. I seriously want to just like sleep with this. The first time I bought it, it was like this really little small pink little egg, Easter egg sponge. And I just wanted to cuddle with it all day. And it is like a really, really soft sponge. It I've already uh, used it once. So it's a little bigger than it originally was. Don't be underestimated by how small it is. It fit in here. And now it doesn't even fit in there. So the point of the Beauty Blender sponge is... It's made out of some weird material that no one even knows. It's patent, so in 10 years we'll know. But pretty much it's made out of this weird material that it puffs up really big. So it fills in the extra air pores that it has, that a regular sponge would have. So it doesn't absorb most of your makeup. Keep in note, you have to have this a little damp. Because the first time I used it, I was like wringing it like crazy and it took out most of the water and it absorbed most of my makeup. So, I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply this today. Okay, so I'm just going to be using my MAC Prep and Prime Primer. So what you're going to do with this, you're going to run it underwater. And what I did when I got this, I put it in some, like, hand, a dish soap. Just to kind of, you know, you don't know who's been touching it. It doesn't have, like, a safety seal on it or anything. So you really, like, I wanted to disinfect this. And then I noticed that some of the dye started coming out. So also you want to make sure that all that dye is out of the sponge because you don't want to be applying that to your face, especially if you have really sensitive skin. So I just, you know, do this squeezing motion underwater until it's like the really rinsed. And then you let it like, you let it puff up. And then once you let it puff up, you squeeze all the excess water and then you just... With the towel, you wrap it around and you squeeze it again to make sure just it's not dripping water. And then you got like this really damp, spongy sponge. While you're prepping your uh, foundation, I like to do this with the container it came in. Just to kind of hold it there so it doesn't touch any surfaces. So I'm going to be using my amazing foundation mixture. I'll link the video on this foundation mixture down below so you can see what I'm talking about. And this is Tarte Amazonian 12 Hour Clay Foundation Max Studio Fix Plus. And I'm just going to get my sponge and I'm just going to kind of mix it with the base of the sponge. But I don't want to absorb any of the product. So I'm not going to be like pushing it in. Once I've mixed the product and kind of like warmed it up I'm going to start bouncing this across my face and I really love how this kind of just literally just like bounces on your face This sponge is really soft, so when you bounce it, it kind of um, it kind of forms into your creases. So when I bounce it around my nose, it just kind of it fills in the creases. So I don't have to use this little tip because then I'll be wasting more product than I want. I'm just gonna get a little tiny bit more. And I'm going to get the tip of my Beauty Blender sponge and start bouncing under my eye.
And then once I'm finished, I'm just going to do this with my little container and set it aside. So let's talk about this. I really like the flawless kind of finish to it. I like how it spread the foundation very evenly across my face, not really focusing on certain parts, but more distributing distributing it really nicely you don't see like any streaks or edges or I mean it's supposed to be a sponge the reason people came up with this is it has a round it's round it doesn't have any edges so you're not gonna see any streaks from those edges it's just gonna you know it's just gonna be like a circle on your face you guys know, like, I've always used brush brushes my entire life. I don't think I've used anything other than brushes. When I was, like, in 7th grade, I think I did my makeup with fingers. I think. I don't even remember because I've been using brushes for so long. Um, so I'm pretty impressed by the sponge just because, you know, I don't like sponges. And I guess that get, makes me a little biased. But I, I ended up liking it. And... It's definitely something I'll probably start using from now on. Definitely the Beauty Blender and the this MAC stippling brush are going to be my two favorites from now on. So I'm just going to close up and to show you guys how this ended up looking. Make sure you're watching this in HD so that you can see. It left it pretty flawless, very natural looking. It's definitely something I'd probably use with the BB cream. One more thing I like I forgot to mention about this particular sponge is the fact that you can literally like roll it across your face and it'll have it'll have the same uh, use if you were using the bottom of it or the tip of it because it's all uh, very round and you can literally use this for anywhere on your face. Like you can use this right here and then you can use it under your eye and then you could just roll it on your face if you're feeling a little lazy and you can do this to pick up extra foundation that you that is just lying on your face if you've put too much it's just really really cute I really like this it's so cute I just want to sleep with it alright be right back okay so here is the full look, and I did a little bit of eyebrows, mascara, lip gloss, and contour. So as you can see, it looks like a little kind of red, like it didn't really kind of do like a full coverage. I don't know if that's just the contour, but I didn't put contour here, I actually put under eye concealer hair, and it looks like a little reddish um I don't know if that's the the redness of my face showing through but if you look at me from far away it looks like really natural it's I don't know if it's because it's like really hot right now but it feels like very heavy it might just be the foundation and the heat I think there's like wildfires right now here in California so yeah so there's the finished look and I hope this, I kind of explained to you how to use it, how to put it in this little cute thing and how cute it is and um, like why I like it. The fact that I can use every single part of this, this sponge and I know like the, the dupes have like kind of like a rid, rigid in it and you can't like use it all over your face but I like the beauty blender it is really cute it's definitely a icon item that you have to have in your kit as a makeup artist and I feel like it's just a really cute little like thing it's so cute all right well if you guys have any um, similar opinions or if you have a different opinion, feel free to discuss that down below. And if you guys have any suggestions on tips and tricks I should do, I should do in my videos and what I should review next and what you guys want to see, then let me know. Bye, guys.